73 here um let's see i let's see i'm trying to make sure that everything is set looks like it is um so uh welcome um today's my birthday and uh so i thought i'd live stream a little bit and say hi to you guys <clears throat> i think this is literally like the first birthday anything i've ever done so if you're just joining, um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And uh, we're going to be playing, I'm going to be playing some Star Citizen because I love Star Citizen. Uh, we got Noah Mar Marentes, Marissa Plays, and Nima Destroyer. And oh no, don't tell me I got to reset my account again. I'm so glad they have... I'm actually playing on the live servers right now, and I'm so freaking glad that they have this problem fixed on PTU. Uh, PTU should be launching, like, any day now. It's like, hmm, maybe I should go over and switch back to PTU. Oh, uh, let's see. My random channel says, Happy 25th birthday. Oh, if only. If only I could be 25 again. Uh, Bradley, or Brady ba uh, Bayek, hello Brady, um, Aiden, thank you, Owen Williamson, hello, thank you, Josh Milton, thank you, Aiden Lund, thank you, uh, let's see, alright, well, let's see, Cons I'm gonna just have to claim you, I guess, nothing else I can do, um, we still have this bounty that I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, let's see here. Wait, where? Let's take the Starfarer Gemini. I have been using my Gemini to do combat missions. And like, oh my gosh, it's awesome. Uh, oh, uh, Anthony Krukowski, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that as always. Um, okay, Hangar 5. Let's go down to Hangar 5. And I'm going to go do this bounty, because we need to refuel the 890 jump. And it's like a bazillion dollars to refuel that thing. And the only reason I really want to refuel it is because I've got like a bunch of vehicles in there right now. How old am I? I'm old enough to be your dad. I I don't know. I'm I stopped counting years ago. Wait, what is this? What what? Are you kidding me? Did my account just my account just my entire account just bugged out? So that uh, we're not going to be able to use this ship either. Look, nothing's there. <gasps> this is a disaster. This was just working. What in, hold on. Something really bad just happened. I'm gonna exit out and we're going, and I'm actually going to delete the user folder. So let me pull that up really quick. Uh, we have to get out of the game here for just a moment. Let me pull that up so we don't have 20 minutes of black screen. It figures like I would go to live stream and all of a sudden my account's screwed up. Uh, let's see, two user. Okay, there it is. Like, don't be doing this to me on my birthday, Star Citizen. Or I'm going to be real mad. All right, so that's done. We're relaunching. Worst case scenario is I can just move over to PTU and we should be good. Um, Sara, maybe I can learn about this game. Happy birthday, thank you. 
Um, it is a cool game, except when this happens, which is very rare. Um, no, the game didn't crash. Uh, Anthony says, back to sleep for me. What? This is like, this is like your prime time, Anthony. It's Anthony's prime time. Going to sleep at 1030 at night. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, they've been uh, they've been changing like some database stuff around. And earlier today, I did the pirate swarm so I could qualify for the pirate gladius. Um, like the the, it's a it's essentially like a a standalone ship that you can buy, but you have to complete or you have to beat the pirate swarm in arena commander in star citizen and once you do that it unlocks a badge and it allows you to qualify to to <laughs> to purchase um the aegis gladius with the pirate uh paint job on it and so i did that earlier today and i'm thinking hmm maybe that screwed up the database but I don't think we have too much longer to wait for Alpha 3.7.1. Um, actually, they just pushed a new patch to the live server or to the test server tonight, um, which I haven't even tried out yet. And so, hello. Why am I? Oh, here we go. Ooh, everything's loading in really slowly. <laughs> Could it be my SSD is on its last leg? I don't think so. Um, I stubbed my toe. Brady says I'm a freshman in high school. Well, congratulations. Uh, Luke Schilt says, hey Brad, when will late night farming streams? Probably never. I think I'm done. I don't know. I, I'm just really super bored with farming sim. The, the, the platinum edition just like, I was really looking forward to a new map and a new crop, and it just didn't happen this year. I don't know why. Um, you know, Giants doesn't really tell us anything. They're just like, this is what it is. And, you know, they haven't really said why they they decided not to go with a, a map. I, I mean, they, they did say that, well, you know, they're, we're doing more vehicles this year, but... I always, I was, I thought that they had like a dedicated map team that essentially worked on like the game's maps all the time. So, and that like they weren't part of doing vehicles. So I don't know. Maybe they moved them over or whatever. But um, I don't know. I'm just, I just over the summer I did so much farming sim that I really got super burnt out on it. Uh, what game is this, uh, Brady? It is called Star Citizen. If you want more information, just look right down in the video description. Josh Vers... What does it say? Josh Verson? Josh Verson? Uh, says happy birthday. Thank you so much. Uh, it's 9.30. No, it's 10.30 where I live. Taking the train over the space. So if we see another train come. Sometimes you pass other other train. I think we already passed it, but sometimes you'll pass another. Oh, there it goes. Pisa Spaceport, please watch your step when disembarking the train. Masara, you've said that like 40,000 times already. I get it. Thank you. Dear fellow travelers, do not lock doors. <laughs> so my ship just got blown up. This game is great. <laughs> That's right.
Wait, I don't see... Oh, that's right, because I logged out of the game. Wait, let me... I swear, if I get the Clovis mission now, I'm going to be so mad, because then we got to go all the way back. No, I don't see it. Let's do this one. HDSF Eldbridge. Oh, I can't wait for the the next patch to come out. Hangar six. Uh, do I have any pets? No, I don't. Unless my likes count. But there's just too many of those to name. Last time you did so much mining. Yeah, I, we probably won't be doing mining um, this time around. Wait, what was the platform? Five or six? Six. I was thinking it was six, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, this time we actually are going to be doing some combat here, so... Uh, why is the door open? That's weird. It's very rare. I See, I just uh, updated my NVIDIA drivers earlier today, too, so I'm kind of like... Hopefully that didn't screw anything up. It shouldn't, though. Um, I am just going to get takeoff clearance anyway... You are clear to launch. Aegis combat assist activated. Okay. Systems green. Launch complete. Alright. Oh, there's other doors open too. Oh no, it's closing. Alright. Okay, so we're going to take off. So as we're climbing out, uh, let's see, what am I going to do here? interfaces. I love how like sometimes you can see it and sometimes you can't. Um, there we go. Now it's got the route set. Alright, so we're at top speed. Sitting in here in my ship. There's a uh, Loreville down there. Flies like No Man's Sky. Yeah, kind. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it's a little bit different. This game is a little buggy, isn't it? Uh, yes. But it's in it's you know it's still in early alpha, so they're doing, um, you know they're basically doing uh, development and then letting people play the alpha versions um, as they become available every quarter. So sometimes, um, like two patches ago, like 3.5 was really buggy, and 3.6 like 
fixed some of the things in 3.5, but then they introduced a new flight model, which I didn't like and most people hated. And so with 3.7, they've kind of tweaked the flight model and changed it um, to be a little bit, I guess, more along the lines of what they were looking for. I still don't think it's 100% there, but it's way better than it was. All right, so we are out into space, so let's just throttle down here. Get our quantum drive spooled up, and I just want to target my point down here, my jump point, which is um, an outpost that's on the other side of the planet. So I know it looks like we're going to jump through the planet, but we're actually not, and it's going to jump us around. Initiated. We're heading on down to the planets. Hmm, I actually want to head over there just to check that thing out. We just have to go in here and kill a guy, I think. Or, well, it says eliminate hostile, hostiles. So I guess that means, like, everybody. But I do have to be careful coming in here because we're going to have some turrets. Actually, the turrets aren't as bad in live as they are on the uh, PTU. So we're going to be making them way more difficult soon. Okay, there we go. Got our light on here. Head shield under fire. stand off a little bit here and uh, oh gosh oh hello we're gonna stand off let our shields recharge a bit we'll go in and take the next turret or two out Got them all. Landing gear deployed. Landing complete. Engines offline. All right, so we'll shut our engines down, and then we'll just kind of make sure that we have everything ready to go. Equipment-wise, so... Um, let's see, armor, I want my orc 
Helmet here. Everything else looks good. Weapons. Yep. That looks good. Plenty of... Let's see. Med pen. Oh, why is it not... Oh, you know what? I bet this is because the database is messed up. Because I can't equip... Dang on it. Yeah, the only way I can uh, get around that is to have my account reset right now, which I don't really want to do. Yeah, they're changing these guns. These are were the guns on the turret. They're changing these um, out with like a, a heavier class attrition, which do a lot more damage, like two to three times more damage. So it's a pretty big difference. Squeaky2008 says, happy birthday, Brad. Thank you so much, Squeaky. Brad, do you know when, I'm assuming seasons? Um, no, I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. That's a, that's a mod thing and, you know, the last I've heard anything from Giants was that, you know, they still had more tweaking and bug fixing and things like that to do, so. But aside from that, no, they don't, I don't know and they don't tell me anything. It's a valiant effort. No, we still have, we can still go back. All right. Maybe, maybe, may, whoa. What the heck is going on here? There we go. <laughs> I have never seen the game do that ever before. Riley says happy birthday. Thank you so much. Now that I've been, now that I'm dead, maybe it'll let me, so I'm going to have to re-equip the weapon. Thankfully, I've got enough. I'm not going to worry about the field light right now. Yeah, it's still not letting me. But whenever the 3.7.1 patch gets released, they will most likely uh, update it so that, well, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna, they're essentially gonna wipe the database, so we'll have to start over again. But it's, you know, no big deal. It's nothing I've not dealt with before. Bond, thank you very much. Uh, Brady's going to bed. All right, have a good night.
switch to these legs. Next stop, Tisa Spaceport. Wait, is the medical... They might not actually be on the legs. Yeah, did you see how that, this says placeholder? That should not look like that. Which is why I think there's some kind of a database error. Uh, now arriving, Tisa Spaceport. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. Different four. Hmm, interesting. Oh gosh. See, it let me switch back, but now it's not letting me switch to the other armor. Well, let's see here. Step away from armor. The edge when okay, now it did. So. Now arriving from Metro Center. Stand by and let passengers disembark before Actually, boarding. let's go ahead. Let's, um... Before we do this, let's go ahead and claim our ship so that we can take that ship back. Because I don't, I don't know if I've got a faster ship that'll, that's got, you know, an equally good climb rate. Because the, uh, the Avenger's pretty good. I've got a ship, like my P-52 Merlin's got a better climb rate, but it, hello, but it doesn't um, have a jump drive, so, so we'll pay the expedited fee there. Okay, let's do torso, and we'll just go to the MacFlex core in black. So why is it saying the change is pending? It shouldn't be. Yeah, and it's still... Is it not letting me change armor? It let me change to that just fine. And that's 20 per... Okay, so that's the same percentage. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to do with what we got. Um, everything was fine until I hit 50. Let's just say you're one step closer to finding out. Happy birthday. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. probably need to exercise more and go on go for walks and that kind of stuff but let's see here I think it was six again but thank you TBO I appreciate that Ah. 
What the heck? that I was supposed to go to. Oh my gosh, really? Well, if it's not this one, I'm gonna go... I am going to be forced to go back in time. Oh, it's this one. Was this nine? Oh yeah, hangar nine. <laughs> so I've kind of like every hangar just to find my ship. Okay. Okay, now my stream is all messed up. I gotta reload. I gotta reload. Cummins Outlaw, thank you very much. wait till they have the new cloud tech in the new cloud tech it's going to look like microsoft flight simulator 2020 when we start going up through the clouds it's going to look freaking amazing like no joke all right so see now we can see the planet just fine other times we can't. I think it's a um, object container streaming kind of an issue, but I mean I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, so route is set. second. That way we'll get out of the atmosphere that much faster. So about a minute, a little less than a minute until we're out. Pew, pew, pew. I'm shooting myself. Eh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be out in just a moment. So I'm gonna Rebuilt themselves. They'll probably rebuild themselves. But then we'll only have to kill six guys. We'll still probably have to kill eight guys because usually um, the little instance is. I don't think these are persistent. I don't know. We'll find out, hopefully. Hopefully I won't die. I have never, though, like when I've done this mission before, missions like it, like I would go over and hide behind that thing. I've never seen, like, so many guys run up there at the same time. It was like freaking crazy.
Major Will Robinson. Okay, where are we going now? Ah, right over here. Okay, 7,000 feet. gonna kind of hover here for a second let our shields build up Horton, hello, Crazy Panda, hello, and thank you so much, Crazy. All right, did we get a gun? Yes, we do. All right. really suck if like they were all in the elevator and I had to like mow them down really quick. Sucks so bad. I've no hello. Okay, we're good. Dang it, that's like I'm like losing money on this job right now, just so you guys know. Just in guns, like I've lost two guns and that cost like 2,500 UEC each. And I think the mission only pays like 7,000. So yeah, we're getting our butts handed to us. But that's how much better 
that's how much better the um, the AI guys are, and they're going to be even harder when 3.7.1 gets released, which is going to be crazy. of habit, I guess. I'm going to go down. We're going to get some heavier armor. Because I've got the money for it. Like, I don't really like wearing the really heavy stuff, but it's, I'm like, I'm starting to get sick. Alright, so we've got Wait, this is considered light armor? Okay. Oh, this is medium armor. Oh, I was... Okay. Wow, I've been getting that wrong. Okay, let's see if we can get leg-wise. We have any that's 30%? Yeah, there we go. Do I have them in, do we have them in something less fruity than that? Like, we've got green, aqua, and then just like, we've got, uh, yeah. Sienna, tan. That's not tan, that's like yellow. True death is what I have. Venture, okay, that's light armor again. What was the stuff with? Oh, this is just max flex. Okay. I guess I'll just go with these and not color coordinate. Helmet. Well, I've got the orc arm, uh, the orc helmet. Where is it? Oh, they don't sell it here. That's right. They only sell the orc helmet on... They, I think they sell some of them on Port Alisar, but other than that, like, the majority of the colors are only available at Area 18. Ooh, the G2 helmet. I didn't know that was 30%. Ooh, I like that one. Let's buy that one. Gosh, I'm going broke on armor. I'm gonna look like the worst mismatch, mis, mismatched guy on this. On, I almost said the space station, but no, that would have been wrong too. Um, let's go with the Boneyard version. Helmet. See, my helmet is... Yeah, this one. Well, that's 30%. Um, let's 
So the orc armor. <laughs> okay. Now I swear. Yeah, it's still not letting me do the med pen. Though I can carry grenades. Unfortunately, I can't buy them here. Hello. Alright. Let's try to get these last two kills. And then maybe we'll do some combat missions or something. Heck on it. I'm still going to have to take the... The turrets out. I, it's weird. I've like never had so many problems with a mission before this now. Do I just sit here and wait for a refuel? Stay open, stay open. No! <laughs> Daniel Horton, or no, Darius Horton. Horton, sorry about that. Hello, hello. Step away from the platform edge when train is approaching. Now arriving from Tisa Spaceport. Stand by and let passengers disembark before boarding. Something tells me there's not going to be too many disembarkments. <laughs> I wish I had, like, the equivalent of a machine gun. Actually, they, they might actually have a machine gun, now that I think of it. Hmm. It's too bad they don't sell weapons here at Loreville, or I'd go and check that out. Thank you, Porterhouse! for a while. Hello. This game looks great. Yeah, oh yeah. Graphically it's like phenomenal. Wait, how did, did they go up and destroy my ship? Those fart poopers. Just typing something in chat there. Um, I don't really have another. I mean, I guess I could take the Super Hornet, but I don't really want to. Oh, that's an. <laughs> I've got most of my ships at Area 18. Well, not most of them. Many of them. I've got my 325A. I've got the um, 85X. And then I've got two rovers on top of that that are all sitting in the 890 jump at Area 18. Four 
Forgenugan? Forgenugan? What's what's Forgenugan? Hangar nine again. All right. You just made it up? <laughs> Great. It's like, how do you how do you say happy birthday in Kurdish? And you're like, Jurgen Gogren. I just made up a language and a language. Oh no. Enter the shit. There we go. Oh. That's almost screenshot. That is screenshot worthy. That's why I just took a screenshot. All right. They still need to fix this. The the ship, like the external view box, it just needs to be fixed so that we can go more towards the front of the ship and less toward, like we've got a big box towards the rear, but it's not really so much towards the front. Love all the textures on the bottom of the ship. It looks so nice. Woo! If we just like do barrel rolls, look at the shadows on it. Look at the shadows of the guns on the underside there. Oh, it looks so cool. I mean, even if we like swap around to this side, I mean the lighting. I love how <clears throat> I love how the lighting works on these thermal blankets that are kind of like these octagonal thermal blankets. Now the space shuttle actually has these. Let's see if I can get kind of a better view there. And I mean, look at how the the, shat, the shading works on those as I make really small adjustments. We've got really bright light there, but then as we kind of get right into that terminal layer where you can really see the texture of that really pop out, just, oh, it's so nice. Um, all right.
Dion Cross says, hi, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. Launching travel initiated. Yeah, it's very, very space shuttle light. Um, back to the same place to probably die again, but hopefully not this time. I've only got to kill two more guys there. But something tells me there's going to be eight more of them down here, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. I just don't want to get flanked again. taking all these out. It's almost like I'm too low and they can't target me. What the heck is this thing? Since when do I have a... I have never in a million years bought an energy shotgun. Energy shotgun... Bo you have got to be kidding me. I gotta win this time, because I don't... Apparently... I'm screwed if I don't. Why does it say I've only got 167 rounds left? I can't I can't add anything my accounts like forked uh, let's see yeah it's not this is the same thing that happened to me like 
last month and I had to get my account reset. Ugh. I get to go to... And it's not even updating this. All right, well, we'll see. Do I have enough pew pews to win? Make air shooting like an Apache pilot. Make every shot count. Um, yeah, but the problem with the with this is, oh gosh, I don't even have a reflex sight. Oh gosh. Well, they're still up here, interestingly enough. Freaking load, you... Oh, did I get them all? Thank freaking gosh. I can't even pick up pick up their ammo. <laughs> I do like my little arc light energy pistol though. It it they tend to shoot very well and accurately. This was all working perfectly the other day. All right, so we've got that done. What other met? Um, I don't want to do that because he's going to do. See, all these bounties are going to be way, way, way over by... Uh, why can't I do anything? We're about ready to get a 30k disconnect. I wonder maybe if... No, they're not pu pushing the patch to live. There's no way. Um, quantum travel, da -da. Yeah, I can't, I can't do anything. Like, I can't hit any buttons. All right. I can exit to the main menu. Gosh, this is, of all the nights that the game, uh, I tell you what, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go over to PTU, because this is getting to be ridiculous. And <laughs> let's see. All right. Let's get, we're going to be at the black screen here for just a second. And I'm going to get, ooh, we got to update. I've got to update. Um, so let's see. Here's the newest, um, let's see, testing focus, general gameplay, and bug regression. Uh, known issues. Quantum travel marker does not update correctly when staying aligned to it after quantum travel. Yeah, that's that's really easy to fix, though. Um, the quantum travel HUD will be lost if the player exits the seat during travel. That I really wish they would fix. Um, Crusader L5 is currently missing. That's weird. Uh, refueling may get stuck in a loop at full and prevent repair and rearm. Um, do each service one at a time with refuel last. Interesting. I did not know that. And the defender's tachyon cannons are not landing hits correctly on moving targets. All right. 
So the uh, patch is just updated, like 27 gigs. No, it's not that much. Uh, res Resurrection. Hello, hello. All right, so we're going to be loading back in to Star Citizen, but this time I'm just going to do PTU because, uh, so, you know, we can see all the cool new ships and stuff. Um, the other thing, too, um, I actually completed the Pirate Swarm today thanks to a, uh, a few guys over at the 890 Jump Club. Thank you so much for your help. And uh, let's see, I don't even know where I'm at. It's going to be like, I'm going to log in and be like, I don't know where I'm at. Um, so I, I'm actually able to qualify to, to buy the, uh, the Pirate Gladius. And because I've qualified to buy both, or to, to get both the, um, the Pirate, what is it? The Pirate um, Caterpillar and the Pirate Gladius, I can actually buy both in a package and like save like 40 bucks off of but it's still over 300 bucks just to buy those two ships so i'm like yeah i don't really need them <laughs> not for that price I need, what I really need to spend money on right now is going to the freaking dentist to get my tooth fixed before it drives me insane. Um, oh, I'm at Art Corp. Ooh, nice. All right, what do we have here? What do we got? Oh, I've got my new armor. I look like a cow. It's like the Farming Simulator edition. You guys remember the old Farming Simulator Valtra tractor? It was like black and white. Now I'm like the Bradham 73 Star Citizen Farming Edition, Cow Edition, etc. <laughs> Gosh. Is it night time? It's night time at Art Corp. Let's see if we have any <coughs> good. Hello. Ground floor. Let's go outside and then we'll we'll check for missions. Actually, there might be another tram coming this way. Maybe not. And that tram is like completely persistent. So if there were players in that tram, you'd actually see them like walking around or standing next to the windows and stuff like that. So, all right. Oh, come on. We'll do this again. What the f- Hello. I, like scraped the top of my helmet. Delivery, maintenance, um, collect and scrap disposal. Service beacons, is he personal? Appointment. Wallace Clem. I think, oh, we gotta go all the way to Levski. Samson and Sons Salvage Center. Where the heck is that? It's not far away, apparently. All right, let's go. Let's head out to the uh, spaceport. Got to go to Art Corp Plaza. So, oh my gosh, my frame rate down here is. It was like silky smooth here the other night. 
It's weird. Like sometimes, like you get on a server, and your frame rate. Oh my gosh. Sorry, my uh, headset wire is driving me insane. Um, yeah, like sometimes you get like really good frame rates, and other times it's like, and there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. Um, do I like Chevy or Ford? I'll take a Ford over a Chevy any day. Uh, Kevin Lee says, happy birthday, mate. Thank you so much, Kevin. Waiting passengers should be mindful of the platform's edge. Strong winds can arise suddenly. Strong, strong winds can arise, su arise suddenly out of my behind. Wait, can I? I want to sit down next to you and we can be like cow brothers. Amusing. I can't even. Okay. Power stroke beats all. I mean, I don't. I, I don't. I don't really care in the grand scheme of things. I mean. The tight, uh, there's some people that like Fords, there's some people that are gonna like Chevys, there's some people that are gonna like Chryslers. You know, that's just kind of the way of things. I mean, there's Ford GM and Chrysler, right? And, you know, different people like different things, and that's perfectly fine. But I mean, like, Chrysler, I, you know, I've, I've had a Jeep. Like, one of my favorite cars is a Pontiac. Like, a, like an old 80s model Pontiac Trans Am. Um, you know, but as far as, like, if I had to just have, like, a daily driver, you know, I'd probably pick a Ford over a Chevy. Just because. Um, that said, I drive, I drive an old Audi, so... Um, let's see... Siobhan Falve says happy bird happy birthday Kev. What? <laughs> Wrong birthday. To be honest, I'm a Hummer guy. Yeah, I mean some people like Hummers. Let's take a mantis. We can look